What's up everybody? James here. Just leaving the premises of the elite performance of the sports in Spotswood, in the western suburbs of Melbourne. Going to head over to Coles and get something to make for dinner, but whilst I do that, I thought I might talk a little bit about the workout that I just did and talk about um, how I felt the Capo States went. Um, so lately, lately, as in during the past week and obviously this week and uh, next week, just been doing a lot of, uh, I guess you would call it conditioning work and general physical preparation. Or at least if you were reading the uh, West Side literature, that's what it would be called. And uh, that pretty much all what that involves is um, just a lot of high volume, low intensity work. Uh, mostly on single joint exercises, but it can be on multi joint exercises, such as on the prowler. And the main purpose of all of that work is pretty much to prepare you for the shit that you're about to do. And that's a very important thing that I think a lot of people miss out on in their training. Just wait there, cunt. They jump straight into whatever it is they want to do. They ride up, you know, 12 weeks of fucking brutal ass squatting or whatever it's Shaco. Juggernaut, 531, whatever it is, without really thinking about being prepared for that, making sure that their body is ready to do that task. Um, the other reason that I wanted to get involved in all that sort of training, at least for a little while, was uh, finishing up with Capo States. I felt pretty beat up actually. I felt like, uh, you know, I had some mild sciatica after that comp, and uh, I, um, I wanted to make sure that I was rid of that before I jumped into any any uh, multi-joint exercise that had quite a lot of vertical loading. Things like squatting, uh, deadlifting, overhead pressing. Um, they were all pretty brutal exercises really when you think about it. So I wanted to make sure that I was giving my body some time to recover before I went ahead and jumped into all of that. So I'm just going to take a bit of a detour tonight spend a little bit more time talking so I've got a long way to get to Coles I just went past it but we'll, we'll do a bit of a bit of a journey this is Williamstown Road for those that aren't familiar with uh, the western suburbs of Melbourne um, so one of the things you'll notice is that there's a lot of, there's, there's multi-joint exercises, but there's no vertical loading. And that's a big important part of making sure that you're giving your body time to recover. Um, particularly if you're suffering from, you know, sciatica or some sort of spinal disorder or something like that, that would otherwise put pressure on your, on your spine. Just gives your body a chance to breathe um, and, to, and to get on a level playing field for all of the really hard stuff that is coming. So the, the workout started off with the belt squat. I uh, just did three sets of 15 there. Um, I didn't want to do too much because I think that that, that kind of uh, just repeated movement can actually be quite dangerous after a while. Um, it's good to get the blood in there to stretch the adductors out um, and just move. Um, but after a while, it, you know, even if, even if it was very low weight, that's a repeated motion can get a bit hard on your on your hip flexors um, and I've always had problems with my hip flexors in the past which I can talk about later in some other video it's a pretty pretty big uh, epic saga really so after the belt squat I went on to the glute, ha glute hammer raise and uh, had a lot of fun with the glute hammer raise tried to uh, put myself at a um, disadvantage with the leverages just by putting my arms out in front of me and it's important that um, you try to move your arms as you move through the range of motion just to make sure that you are maintaining that poor leverage because if you don't, um, if you just have your arms out like that the whole time, you're actually making the lift easier, the movement easier at the near the completion point, i.e. when you're coming back up. You know what, I might go to Coles on Miller's Road because I know the scales there are all fucked up for the veg fruit and vegetables, it's fucking awesome. Um, so we did that, and um, then back extensions, which uh, 
you know, I don't know. I, I, I got a lot out of that exercise when I first started doing it and not so much now in terms of improving strength, but definitely just like uh, for maintaining the health of my lower back and and uh, making sure that I'm not going to have any lower back issues as I proceed throughout my lifting adventures. Um, so what have we done so far? We've just done a lot of hammy work. Um, uh, so it would make sense that afterwards I moved on to uh, leg extensions, try to do a little bit of quad work. So I did three sets of 20 there, I think, with um, uh, bands. I didn't record them, if I recall. Um, if I did, I'll chuck a video in, but I don't think I did. Three sets of 20 with two bands doubled over at the feet. And uh, that is fucking awesome for getting a good pump into the quads. Um, and then some ab work, planking and le hanging leg raises. Uh, the, with the planking, it's three one-minute efforts. Um, and then the hanging leg raise is all just uh, reps, so it's three sets of 12. Um, I tend not to do shit tons of reps on the hanging leg raise, like three by 12. A lot of guys do like four sets of 10, which is not that big a difference, but I think after a while, the form just eats shit. And for me, like, I personally think that one good rep on that exercise is worth like three, 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 uh, three shit reps. So yeah, three sets of 12 on the hanging leg raise. Then went on to Prowler, which is my finisher at the moment. It's a nice little finisher. It's like three, it's like push the Prowler, made like 60 kilos for 10 minutes. Just a really good way to um, get in shape, pretty much. The Prowler is an excellent tool if you've got access to one, simply because there's very little spinal compression. And uh, you can just fuck yourself up with it, like, there's so many different modalities you can train the prowler with. Super heavy for, you know, like 10 or 15 meters, or you can go light for, for as long as you can until you pass out pretty much, which I think is really cool. So yeah, that was pretty much the workout. Um, the reason I'm doing these sorts of workouts, like I mentioned, is simply because of your uh, capo states and, and prior to that, the strongman competition at uh, Odin in Port Melbourne. Um, I was just fucked after both of those comps. I was really quite fucked. Um, and needed needed some style of training where I wasn't loading myself up too much. The Strongman comp re went really well. Um, I sort of know where I'm at with respect to the events. Um, and the Capo States comp went okay. Like, I think I was probably feeling, feeling uh, the Anzac Day Strongman comp a little bit. But uh, not too much. Um, although the comp didn't go exactly how I uh, would have liked it to. I would have liked to have gone uh, 5.35 for my total, but I missed my uh, second attempt on the deadlift. And I probably could have squeezed another um, another 5 kilos out of the bench, um, but that, and I was going to take a fourth, but the third, I came down and uh, my whole shoulder felt really fucking strange, but that's just benching for you. And uh, I've gone past Coles on Miller's Road, so I might as well go to Bunnings Car Park and do a little bit of practice riding. We fucking, if anyone's watching this video and decides they want to come out here, watch out for that fucking massive pothole. That's fucked. I haven't gone into it, but yeah, I was pretty fucking startled when I saw it the first time I came here. Yeah, this will do right here. I've been coming here lately to do a little bit of slow riding practice. The, the other good place to go is uh, Laverton Car Park if you're in the western suburbs. Laverton Car Park's really good. Might open up my visor so I can breathe a little bit easier. You want a half lock, look to the right. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That's probably the only one I'll put in the video because uh, probably fuck all the rest up. Yeah, like I said, this isn't a bad car park for just doing really tight turns. If you want to practice tight turning. But uh, Slalom, it's fucking shit. I would highly recommend Laverton Car Park for Slalom. There's, uh, there's like, uh, you know, obviously you shouldn't be doing Slalom where there's fixed fucking objects. 
know, it's never desirable, but if you don't have any witches hats, which reminds me, I should go and pick mine up today, then uh, that's probably the next best alternative. As long as you feel confident that you're not going to run into one of those fixed objects, you'll be fine. It's important to practice this shit. 